right, we're back again for another session today, and we have the Lydiar once again. The plan today is to go on tramp start off with, get ourselves doing a bit of tricking on the track and the floor, and then also want to do a little bit of high bar for you guys today. And then we may also see if Lydia can get her car full today. Ralph on the beat. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right, so we're getting fully warm. The other day, Lydia managed to do her first back fall for the first time at a trampoline at mine. I'll put that in now. And essentially, we're just going to try and clean it up now on the tramp here and see if we can apply it down to there. Back fall. So we're all finished up on the trump now, now on the air track, working Lydia's part front, see if she can get land for the first time. We did go over to the track, but because it's quite narrow, you can feel a little bit like worried about going off an edge or going a little bit lopsided. So that's why we've come down to the air floor, because as you can tell, there is a load of space. Are right, you ready? Long cartwheel, push out of it, and then stand up nice and tall. So one big thing Lydia was struggling with her cart fall was she wasn't quite pushing out the second half of her cart wheel enough. That means that she was killing a little bit of the energy she had going into the front, which make it a little bit lower. We've gone through a couple of preps now and she's done a few which are quite good. So now we're gonna try and full send it. Push off them hands, big punch, let's go. So close now. At least it's going forward, so yeah. I'm having a forward, not back no, out. That's it. As you can see now, she is having no issue popping it up. That is exactly what you want to see. So, as much as she hasn't quite got on her feet yet, the fact she's over rotating and going out of it is showing she's got the power she needs to land it. We just need to wait for the right rep. So, whilst Lydia is doing her cart front, I'm going to try and do cart full D leg for the first time. D leg is something I've only just sort of tried to master, but I'm trying to vary it and add it into little combos. So, I'm just going to start off by going cartwheel. Finish facing sideways so I've got a spot, go through a normal D-leg, eventually get faster and faster with the hopes that eventually it'll be a cartful D-leg. So to be fair, that couple of D-legs actually feeling pretty good. So I shall be taking that, a nice new skill for the day. I'm gonna do a few more drills, just try and get them a little bit more consistent, and then we'll leave them there and keep them working as we go. But Lydia is getting stupidly close to this now. She's getting her feet down. She just needs to put the brakes on a little bit on landing, be a little bit stronger when she does it. But she's got this one. I've got full faith. Everyone she does now is getting really, really close, but we don't want to waste too much energy now. So, how many more should we do? Two more. How many more? Two more. Two more. Lovely. All right, let's make this two count, yeah? Yes! Get in! 
Yes. Sick. Banging. Yes. Yes. There you go. There's Lydia's first car front. She reckons she's got one more in the tank, so we'll let her have one more. But mate, absolutely buzzing that. Good stuff. Yeah, buddy. Please. Bombs, there we have it. Lydia's first car front, absolutely gas for that. She was buzzing. So now we're just gonna finish up for a few more tricks on the track, see what happens, and then after that, I'm gonna go bar, and that will probably be near enough the end of this session. Like I mentioned, now we're finished on the air track, I'm gonna come to the bar. The bar here is a very, very shiny, so I'm just gonna have to give it a little bit of a chill before I go on it. So I'll just show you guys how I go through that, and yeah, we'll get swinging. As you can tell, it is absolutely active today. Buzzing vibes. Nice and basic, nothing too mad, just some upstarts and giants. And after that, we get on some swing turns. So here we go on. Once again, the bar here isn't amazing, amazing, and I'm not quite at the standard I used to be. So we've still got a few more weeks worth of basics before I start pushing our skills out a little bit. But yeah, I'm probably going to get on to loops and gloves soon and just start working some stall some endos, maybe some squat dislows again soon because, well, it'd be very nice to be able to put them back on the old chalk bar again. But yeah. That's enough for me waffling. Let's get my guards on and we get going. I'd say three or four goes before my hands decide to rip again. So I'm just gonna go through that sequence a couple more times, maybe add a short clear after the upstart. That was the sketchiest upside short clear of all time. I might have one more go, but if not, I'm gonna leave it there. Really, really happy with how the swinging halves are thin now. They're feeling just as smooth as they was when I was a gymnast. So if I can get on a nice solid bar, hopefully I'll be able to do blinds, tops, maybe even a couple of double backs soon. All right, so the camera dies to switch into the phone cam. I've decided I'm gonna have one last go, try and make that short clear a little bit better, but I'm only gonna do two swing halves into a straight back. So sequence that we're attempting is upside cast, short clear handstand, swing half, swing half, straight back. The short clear was good on that one, but the last swing half just weren't quite there. But nevertheless, I'm really, really happy with how high bar is feeling now and swinging again. Hopefully, I can do a few more sessions without ripping. Always get a little rip on the last one, but that has been today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like and consider subscribing to the page. So that has been all. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I shall be sure to see you guys in the next one.